All right, moving to question number 13. It has been taken again from magnetism where trajectory of particles in magnetic field is to be discussed. Ye region 1 hai, ye region 2 or region 2 is from x equals to 0 to x equals to 3 r by 2 or is region mein ek uniform magnetic field B present hai. Region 3 mein magnetic field is again 0. So, there is a limited magnetic field and a particle is projected with a momentum P and the charge of the particle is Q from the point y equals to minus r. The figure may not seem scaled. This is 3 r by 2. This is r. Let us do it. Now, on the basis of this given fact, we got to go with the options A, B, C, D. First, I will directly do with D so that I can create a space for these three questions. For a fixed B, particle of same charge Q and same velocity V. Yani, agar difference hai, to wo mass mein. Distance between P1 and re-entry into 1 is inversely proportional to mass. That means, if the particles would be re-entering into 1, it would be making a semicircle and coming back to region 1. So, point of entry or re-entry ke beech ke jo duri hai, that will be twice the radius and that is twice times radius which is asked. So, that would be twice of mv by bq. Now, fixed b, charge is also same, velocity is also same. That distance would be directly proportional to m. Jabki the question says is inversely proportional to m. So, option number d would be treated to be incorrect. Now, let us try to verify a, b and c. To go with option a, b and c, let us try to see. When particle re-enters region 1 through longest path, yani through a semicircle, that would be the longest path in region 2. Now, see there are different radii semicircle that can be formed. But question hame keh hai, longest path is ka matla. It enters from here. So, that would go something like this. The change in momentum's magnitude, delta P magnitude between P1, P1 is the point of entry that is here and farthest point from y axis, the farthest point from y axis would be this is P by root 2. Now, what we said when the particle re enters region 1, there are multiple semicircle, but ye jo semicircle hai, this satisfies the longest path. Now, we need to calculate the change in magnitude between this point and this point, the change in momentum's magnitude more precisely. And here the momentum magnitude is P and here is P. Now, the change in vector would be root 2 times P, the magnitude of the change in vector, that is root 2 times P and the option is suggesting P by root 2. So, option number A would be incorrect. Now, let us see option number C. For B, with this particular condition, particle will enter region 1. Now, let us see. For the particle to enter region number 1, the condition would be straightforward. The radius has to be less than 3 r by 2. You see, this is the radius and if the radius is less than 3 r by 2, the particle will enter region number 1. We are talking about this. And the radius is mv by bq. So, p by bq is less than 3 r by 2. Now, here the condition comes something like this, that b is greater than 2p by 3qr and this thing is exactly matching option number C. So, is this half se dekha jai? Option number C would be correct. Ab a question ki validity test karna hai and that is option number B. Let us see the validity of this. Now, what it says is for this value of B, the particle will enter region 3 through P2. 
Now it's very simple because we have already gone with C. For B greater than this, it would enter region number one. But for this particular value, it's very clear the particle will not come into region one. It would rather go here. So particle will enter region three. Ye to sahi hai. Lekin verify karni hai whether it goes through P2 or not. So I would rather take it in a different way. Let's assume it goes through P2. So in that particular situation, if it goes through P2, this would be the situation. And here is the radius of the path. And even this would be the radius of the path. And this angle would be theta. Now straightforward, you could see that this is 3r by 2 and sine theta would be 3r by 2 small r and small r can be written as 2p by bq and that is the value. That comes out to be sine theta. We'll put the value. Now if the particle enters region 3 at point P2, this would be the value of sine theta. Now we need to test the validity. Or if this claim is right, so there is one point of testing. Look, this distance is R. Then if this is true, then straightforward you could see this is R. So R would be small r 1 minus cos theta. So here, assume karte way, the particle would reach region 3 from P2, you calculate sine theta and try to put it whether it matches with cos theta or not. If you check, it's a very simple calculation. Aap ye paoge, the claim is correct. So option number B would be correct. So for question number 13, the correct option is option number B and C. Now let's proceed to the next question, question number 14.